My name's Ray Bulker, licensed radio ham, G1CLT. If you're subscribing to my channel, I much appreciate it. I'm not out to make millions. I'm just enjoying the hobby. I was watching a video by Oxford, Oxford Shortwave Log the other day. Uh, Siberian weather in Oxford. A few bits and bobs around the shack. And he was showing everybody how he fed <coughs> his antenna through his double glazed window. And his antenna he's using was a, a G-Whip by Benito Radio. And I do have them. Um, I do use them. But the model I use is not as good as this one. And I do, can't put my hands on one at the moment, but I do have one. It's probably stuck in the window. So what this basically does, it, it's designed for TV antennas and satellite antennas and the like where people can't drill a hole in the wall and it fits <coughs> in the open section of the double glazed window and sits neatly in the um, crevice recess whatever you want to call it and it gives you a link a, a metal link to the outside world for the aerial now I do use these as I've said and the one I've got is a caravan one and it's rather bulky um, and it does work it doesn't problem but it does tend to get broken quite easily I've gone through about two of them over the years and I'm only feeding a <coughs> a shortwave antenna shortwave listening antenna it's not for transmission so I do run the um, SDR play which I've had for many years at least two I think it is or one year the RSP one and I just thought what a good idea what an improvement on what I had I've, I've tried using flattening cables before so I thought I'd give a quick brief description and I shall open it and no doubt it won't play ball. I'll. Yep, I didn't think it would. So I'll see if I've got a knife, which I'm sure I have. And see what we can do. Excuse me. And this is the result. And. I must admit it does look flimsy so you've got a, a metal trace which will be the earth on that side you've got two other metal traces which will be the earth also but the center one obviously will be the center core and the actual antenna so how am I going to connect it to my RSP one which I will advertise because my good friend Mike Ladd from the state is a representative for them. So what I do, and I, it's simple. I have one of these, and I connect it. To, excuse me while everything gets moved around. Connect it to that. So that's. A BNC adapter for the um, small antenna 75 on, and it's not going to go on because uh, there you go. It simply go on to there. So there's your connection. A BNC adapter. <coughs> the they are available from more satellite antenna you can get them on the web i get this from a local place which is called track um in skipper's lane in middlesbrough and they are pennies i think they're about 75 pence for this one which is stupid the antenna cable which is pre-made is actually from virgin media they actually supplied me with these when I first got it installed. So the SMA adapter 
for the RSP1 promptly goes on there Left, excuse me I'm not used to using things remotely <laughs> and then it fits the BNC connector on there and it's pretty simple as that so that's the uh, <coughs> the RSP end which is a damn fine receiver and I'll um, see if Mike would like to see this video so there you go right <coughs> We'll go to the other end <clears throat> and it's male to female so if we put this in situ just pretend that this is in situ around the window and the window is closed so it will be like that through the window laying flat obviously you you get with this two sticky pads which um, are in the packet still but the double-sided tape which lets you stick them to the windows etc and this is basically how you connect it so the window, the window will be shut and it'll be over there like that and the pressure on there and it's quite flexible I must admit it does, as I say, look quite flimsy, <coughs> but um, I don't, from my understanding, it's not. It's quite strong. It's quite strong indeed. Then the other end, <coughs> a simple antenna connection from the uh, VHF UHF TV antenna connection, which I don't appear to have any handy because I use these extension cables at the other side to whatever antenna you want I'll be using um, a 91 ballon possibly like this connected to a long wire <coughs> this actually was my lads so um, I've got to shout out for him for that one he did send it to me free of charge well free postage anyway so there you go a simple uh, I do like the design it's quite nice compared to the one which is white a white sheath and I quite like this because this looks rather electronic and rather ultra modern I'll probably do a follow-up video to this as well this is like this is my first unboxing my first review and uh, once I get it in situ which will be sometime later this week I'll uh, follow it up I'd like to thank the o Clint I believe his name is the Oxford shortwave log um, on YouTube I'll put a link into his stuff as well he used this with a powered Benito wig uh, whip antenna G whip antenna so that's interesting that my next step is putting power on it because I do have um, several powered antenna, externally powered um, antennas, which I would like to try out. This is ideal for people who are, can't drill holes in the wall because their landlords won't let them or the wife won't let them, the XYL. So there you go. Anyway, thank you for tuning this. Any comments, likes, I'd really like some feedback on this because... Um, it's my first one that's why thank you for watching bye for now have a good day everybody